Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V! The nice thing about all the battles in the final area here, they all give, like, close to 38 uh, ability points, if not more than that. It's ridiculously good. Better than the statues. And here's another new enemy, Crystal Dragon. You can get those Dragon Lances from this guy, too, so if you want to fill out a full complement of eight of them, this would be the place to do it. But there's an easy way of dealing with this guy. Has almost 18,000 HP, I think. Susceptible to instant death still, though. Not gravity instant death like Odin, though. That won't work, so... Just use the, uh, mixture there. Or the death potion mixture. That's the way to go. Guaranteed. Or your money back. Well, not for the game, but, you know... Ooh, there's something nice. Now, before checking this out, I should adjust my setup, I think. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. So let's check this light out. Uh-oh. How would one of Excess Minions got a hold of that? Well, first things first, I want Ferris to use a magic lamp one more time, because I didn't have a chance to do it earlier. But yeah, I want to use a magic lamp twice. And then we'll save that for later. But I'm just using that just because I want to hit all of those barriers at the same time. Because Necrophobia is invincible as long as those barriers are up. Can't deal any damage to them. But that's not good at all. I really hope Lena survives. And what these gut barriers are going to do is they're going to reflect flare off of themselves over and over again. I'm surprised they got a turn in between those barriers. Don't hit Lena. Don't hit Lena. Thank you. Now what I did with Ferris was I equipped her with Equip Ribbon, so that, well, she could equip a ribbon. I also equipped her with a Man-Eater Knife, because that's, well, the next best knife that I can equip. And I don't have her equipped with the, uh, what is it? I don't have her equipped with the Bone Mail in case I need to revive her, and so that I can heal her a bit, too. Let's get Haste 2 up. If Ferris dies, well, she dies. That's just too bad. I don't really care that much about Ferris in this battle. She has one purpose, and that purpose will be revealed soon enough, viewers. But yeah, Gil Toss, I want to set up Gollum for later, but uh, really, Gil Toss and Sildra, that's the way to go. Wow, I'm surprised no one died after those four flares. We should be in the clear now, pretty much. Ferris really can't do much for me anymore. Go away. Let's see, one casting a Sildra ought to finish them off. Come on! Yes! I got him, I think, now. Now, unfortunately, I don't have white magic equipped, so I'm... Yeah, I'm going to have to, uh, find other ways of surviving. Or, healing up. Fortunately, I've got Gollum, but I also want to set up the, uh... The big guard for anything else. I don't care about that. Let's see. Okay, now, Ferris, I guess you can attack a little bit if you want. X fight now, and let's get big guard set up. Just to protect against anything else necrophobia might do to me. I just hope necrophobia isn't a necrophiliac, that's all. Well, as long as I'm fighting this guy, uh, a lot of people were asking me about who I think is harder between Omega and Shinryu, and the problem is that, you know, they didn't make Shinryu immune to enough status ailments, so it's really, you know, it's really, I mean, what is hard in an RPG, you know? I mean, is it bad programming, or just something that requires luck, or, you know, they, they, something that requires an insane amount of level grinding? I mean, there could be any number of definitions that I would think not constitute hard, but some other people might. And, I just, you know, I don't think that you can really say that Omega or Shinryu is really harder because, I mean, it's just bad programming on the part of Shinryu. They didn't make Shinryu immune to more status ailments, you know, which they should have, but oh well. God, how much more damage do I have to deal with this guy? Or deal to this guy? Fortunately, Necrophobia is susceptible to every, sta every element in the book. Oh, come on. One more X-Fight. 
I suppose I could use dragon power on my guys if I really cared, but this is a story-based battle, so I don't care. For reasons that you are about to find out. It's Gilgamesh! He's back! We get to fight him one last time. And we get to hear his theme one more time, too. Yeah, his text is a little slow there, but I don't want to fast forward through, uh, through, uh, the music. Whose side are you on, Gilgamesh? You are a weakling, by the way. Who are you talking to, Gilgamesh? Well, let's steal something from Gilgamesh first. That's why I have Ferris as a thief, and... I uh, have Ferris equipped with a thief glove, so I can pretty much guaranteed get it on the first try. Hey, hey! We get the Genji armor, the best knight's armor in the game, and apparently Gilgamesh is on our side. We don't need to do anything more in this battle, by the way. He was a strong man! Ah, oh, I'm sorry, Kara. Just pour some more lemon juice on the wound there, Gilgamesh. What are you talking about, Gilgamesh? Well, I could just make her into a dancer. That would do the trick. Look at all those weapons he's got there. <laughs> yeah, the rest of this battle's scripted, so I don't need to do anything else. What are you talking about? I don't recall Lena having love for animals other than her pet dragon. I, I don't know any other specific references. Well, you had one with Gallif there. You know, wasn't that good enough for you? Are you actually going to do anything useful, Gilgamesh, other than just stand there and talk? Yeah, just keep using those elixirs on yourself there. I'm sure that'll, you know, kill necrophobia or cause him to run away or something. Uh-oh. Hey, he did it! He killed Necrophobia for us! All right! So what do we get for defeating him anyway? Nothing! Oh, we get a save point. Hooray! The last one in the game. So let's use that to heal up. All right, we're all set and ready to go. Use the cabin there, and we're all healed up. So let's see where this last teleporter pad takes us. Uh-oh. This area looks familiar, at least from one of the cutscenes I saw earlier. X-Death at last. Uh-oh. What do you mean we're late? Oh, no. I have the power of nothingness. That's just great, x -Death. So What are you going to do with that power? You're going to become a tree again. Oh, th that's just great. How do trees survive in a black hole? Well, you've made me very upset. You like my droopy impression? Huh? Oh, no! Why don't you just suck the whole world into the void while you're at it, X-Death? Well, he wants to torture us or toy with us more, I guess. How does he even know about all the pirates and everything? What are you, psychic? Oh no, we're getting sucked up to the ceiling. Oh, well, I guess you can suck them through the ground, apparently. 
stop this, X-Death. This violence is senseless. Oh no! He's got, how is he using the power of the void inside the void? What will we do now? Can we survive? Find out next time on the exciting finale of Let's Play Final Fantasy V! And they die.